guest house that's the door that's where i just came from it's a little nice and cozy um place there's just the bed pedestals lamp um with the front bed nice enough um we've got the cupboards in here and there's some gowns which i'm gonna get into i saw that there was a fireplace so i'm definitely gonna be going to chill over there soon um as soon as i get comfortable there's a chair over there that's probably gonna be used for reading when i wake up um there's a mirror <laughs> there's my dinner there's my bag there's my book of choice and coffee and tea station i'm gonna make a coffee and probably go sit over um over at the um fireplace this is the shower it's quite huge and it's really really nice and i think i'm gonna take um an evening shower before i go to bed and toilet bath towels and the mirror and charity hi and you've got the sink and some cupboard space here it's just tissues and just a bin but yeah this is the room it's nice and cozy um this is the the desk I guess to do your work or whatever and in here uh, we've got some snacks, glasses, a mini fridge uh, with some refreshments and chocolate and stuff. Um, I don't feel like chocolate, so I'm not going to have that. And I already have my refreshments, but I'm definitely going to be having some yummy coffee. Let's see what flavor. Okay, I don't know what flavors these are because they don't really tell you. But yeah. I'm gonna probably try this green one and yeah this is mirror here I'm gonna change out of my jeans get into some more comfortable pants and then yeah and I don't feel hungry so I might just go down with my coffee and go read and <laughs> check out my handprint over there <laughs> um it stayed but yeah um i'm gonna do that well it's such a nice place to like stay for a couple of days i think it's just that i i arrived very late it's like just before 7 p.m um so it's already dark but it's definitely a place that i think i would come back to because i saw their bigger rooms on their website and they look so nice um but obviously i'm here for work so there's no need to get like um, I guess for them to hire out a massive room for me and yeah Hello you guys, um, so I'm in Cape Town, um, 
my brain faded for a little bit. I'm at the guest house. I'm in this very comfy robe. I wish I could take it home with me. Um, I just moisturized my hair and put it in these knots so that I can just undo it in the morning and just fluff it up and be good to go. I am, like I said, chilling in bed. I want to keep reading for a bit. Um, I'm still reading Empire of the Vampire. Ugh, this is how far I am. Look at this cute bookmark. So a colleague of mine printed um, this bookmark for me on the 3D printer and I think this is so cute. <laughs> um, this is kind of like my um, going away present. Um, they asked me what I would like them to print for me in like anything bookish, bookmarks, bookends, anything that's bookish and um, they gave me this today and I'm really, I'm really happy about it. Um, I am currently on page 156 of Empire of the Vampire. So far so good. Um, so the story is told in the way of I guess somewhat of an interview but not really an interview so essentially we follow this vampire hunter story his name is Gabriel de Leon and currently he is in jail we don't know how he got in jail but he is imprisoned by these vampires and the queen of the of the empire of the vampire empires i guess i don't know what to call her um she sent one of her people to come and oh, i broke my nail it's so so um sent one of his guys i forgot his name now um to come and basically question Gabriel and get his life story because they believe that it's going to come in handy one day. So this vampire guy, he's a historian, so he's recording Gabriel de Leon's history and Gabriel de Leon happens to be one of the silver what do they call them? There's so many terms anyhow and I'm kind of like forgetting but I'll tell you now. I thought I was going to be there, but I'm not. Okay, I don't know what they called silver something. They called silver something. Um, but I can't, uh, I can't remember. But they are part of these people. Oh, the, the guy that's, um, the vampire that's interviewing him. His name is Jean-Francois and i don't know what they called i'll put the title down here but they called these silver whatever they are so essentially it is a group of vampire hunters that is made up of half breeds so um they were all born from human mothers who um basically laid down with vampires i believe that all of them who, um, it happened um, without their consent and therefore these mothers gave birth to these half-breeds so they possess certain um, powers and traits that the line of vampires they come from have and there's all different lines and they all have their different powers some of them they've got um, ultimate strength some of them can control the mind some of them can control um, beasts or even turn into um, say beasts so yeah um, and when he went for his first initiation they realized that he's not really showing a specific power to any of them but he was very determined because um, her sis his sister was killed by one of these creatures and she ended up turning into one so basically he wanted to avenge her but Gabriel de Leon is basically telling his life story 
to this vampire um and that's how we going through the story so it is kind of like jumping through timelines a little bit because we we hearing hit the story from um Gabriel's point of view but so far so good um i'm enjoying it it's hard for me to talk about um the world building because we're not really going in a straight line and I can't really picture a lot of what they describe but there isn't also a lot of descriptions it's mostly like experiences um the writing style is kind of like very old english and it feels like this is happening like back 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 in the day uh, it's very old english it's not shakespearean but it's old it's old i don't know how else to explain it but it's not difficult to understand however if you're going to be doing the audiobook i wouldn't suggest doing the audiobook on its own i'm doing hybrid reading and sometimes when i just listen to audiobook alone i have no idea what happened in the book um so i always need to be reading alongside the book because some of those sentence structures and the slang or whatever that they use in the book it's not something that i know and the like and the the narrator's accent sometimes throws me off and i would not know what he said so yeah it helps to read along with your physical copy but yeah like i said so far so good um i was sitting by the the fireplace earlier and i read a couple of chapters while i was there it was really really nice it was really cozy i wish i was here for longer um this is definitely a place that i would come back with my family my husband because it's really nice it's really cozy it's very homey um i think it's the best um gift house i've stayed in for work because we don't usually get <laughs> the nicest of places but this one is very nice um and the people are nice i got one of the smaller rooms like i said earlier but i don't need a big room i guess and i'm only here for one night so it doesn't make sense but it's really pretty i wish i was i had arrived a bit earlier so that i can kind of like see the grounds as well but i came here late and it was dark so i could only like kind of peruse around the house itself or the inside of the guest house but it's really really nice you guys it's very nice but yeah um I just spoke for 10 minutes after I said I wanted to read for 30. But yeah, I'm just gonna... I need to put on my duke before I lean my head against the board. But at least I don't have any oil um, on my hair. I've done the lock method yesterday, so... I didn't feel the need to pack the whole gang of hair products. <laughs> So I just took um, the butter and I just used that. So my hair is not um, oily at all, but yeah, I still don't want to get any stains or anything on this stuff. So yeah. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we, we can't. Yeah, like, oh, no. 
We had a whole separate group. Yes. Without you. Yes. Mm. As soon as I said, you know what? <laughs> this moment oh, deserves oh, celebration. Guys. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. We mm. couldn't decide on what to buy for you, so we thought, let's just let you oh. decide. Yes. Uh, what do you actually Thank want? You. Mm. And this is what people's bags look like. Four books. I wonder who this is. All books. Where are the clothes, guys? Where are the clothes? One bag of clothes and just books. And just books. 